स्वस्ति राय चौधरी लैब इन सी सी एम बी वर्क ऑन स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड रिलेटेड प्रोटीन एग्रीगेशन डिसीजेस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सेंट्रल डॉगमा ऑफ मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी जीन्स दीज एंड कोट्स द इंफॉर्मेशन एज वेल एज स्टोर द इंफॉर्मेशन एम आर एन ए द ट्रांसक्राइब द इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर द प्रोटीन्स टू एग्जीक्यूट द फंक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू फंक्शन प्रॉपरली ऑल प्रोटीन इट्स टू एक्वायर ए पर्टिकुलर कन्फर्मेशन वी कॉल दैम प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर्स समटाइम्स फॉर मल्टीपल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रीजन्स प्रोटीन्स कैन नॉट achieve their functional structures and then we call this protein cell misfolding and forming aggregates this kind of aggregates are associated with multiple different age related degenerative diseases including parkinson's disease alzheimer disease and so on one such protein aggregation disease is parkinson disease where a protein called alpha synuclein forms protein aggregates inside the neurons of patient brains so in this neuron degenerates and therefore causes the disease so here we are trying to understand how this aggregates affect uh, or causes the this uh, protein homeostasis disturbances so we are modeling this protein aggregates in the primary neurons which are isolated from the mouse brains or human derived pluripotent stem cells what we have shown here is like this aggregate basically interacts with the nuclear envelope and destroys the nuclear lamina and that is the one of the main cause of the disease so this nuclear lamina injury makes the neuron susceptible for various kind of stresses during aging uh, the cell undergoes multiple stress uh, stress which increases the toxicity of the aggregates in the neurons and hence leads to neurodegeneration so understanding the mechanism of this lamina uh, association with these aggregates devise a strategy uh, so that we can prevent this association and hence decrease the toxicity of these aggregates in the patients we also study protein aggregation diseases related to mitochondria mitochondria which is a powerhouse of the cell harbor respiratory complexes which help in cellular respiration and atp generation respiratory complex 1 is the largest of respiratory complex it is an ancient protein made up of 44 subunits in human while only 14 subunits in bacteria different organisms which survive in different environmental condition rely on complex 1 for respiration recently our lab became interested in studying how complexity and structure of complex 1 have evolved in course of evolution to function optimally in different environmental conditions so the proteins that uh, make up these respiratory chain complexes are encoded by both nuclear and mitochondrial genomes a balanced protein synthesis mitochondrial import and degradation of these proteins are important for the biogenesis and organization of these complexes our broader goal is to understand how each of these processes contribute to the complex assembly our lab has also shown that the individual subunits of complex 1 they are aggregation prone inside the cell we have also shown that the aggregation prone regions of these proteins assist the individual respiratory complexes to associate with each other to form super complexes that improves the respiratory function we use various cell biology microscopy and proteomics tools to understand the complex organization of these proteins because mutations of these proteins destabilize this organization that leads to various protein folding diseases